porcupine <laughs> hedgehog this weekend and just kind of just hide. curl up and don't talk to me. I was thinking the same thing, Kenny. I like that. How about flannel for everyone this weekend? Sure. I think that's on tap for all of us. You know, we were talking about very chilly conditions. As you can see, look at the slope. So it looks nice like it would be fun to be out there with a little bit of that sunshine, except that the winds are now building for folks there. Appalachian Ski Mountain still open for another few days and also Beach Mountain. You can see folks out there this afternoon until the winds picked up. We've got those teens for feels like temperatures right now. Five for feels like conditions in Beach Mountain 19 and Jefferson. 40 in Hayes, and we're beginning to see that cool air slip to the east, but our cold front has been moving slowly east, so it's just centered over the triad. Now, gusts as high as 40, 45 miles an hour up in the Beach Mountain area so far, and you've got those temperatures that are going to continue to tumble thanks to those winds coming up in the mountains. You've got 46 degrees currently at UNCG, 42 in King, so slower temperature drops at the moment, but overnight you're expecting those 30s. We've got all of that moisture moving east, though, so it gives us a sunshiny day for your Saturday before more rain chances build and this system is going to be winding up from areas of Texas. A warm front will lift in our way and bring in some more moisture from the Pacific and that'll mean a wintry mix day for Sunday. Temperatures today made it to 55 in Greensboro 57 Winston Salem and 61 out in North Wilkesboro. Tomorrow not so lucky. We do have a cooler air mass that's moving in behind this front. Temperatures at 36 degrees tomorrow morning. We've got sunshine through middle of the day. Good part of our afternoon is staying in the 40s and then we'll see 53 through the late day hours. A few clouds building in advance of the next system with 35 degrees early tomorrow morning in the foothills. You'll see those clouds move out for mostly sunny skies. Highs at 51 through the afternoon hours and then you've got impact hours still on for the mountains. We're talking about that wind advisory in effect until 10 a.m. There gust as high as 50 miles an hour from 28 degrees. You're going to feel more like the teens to single digits as you've seen there in the mountains. 32 for 9 a.m. temperatures finally reaching above freezing by lunchtime and then about 43 for an afternoon high, so it's a cold day and blustery for most of us to start. The winds do gradually back off by late afternoon into the evening hours. We'll see those clouds fill in and then by 1 a.m. beginning to see some snow showers enter the mountains with a chance of some pockets of sleet. You see that purple line here. That's what we'll be looking for is that mix along with some flurries. We might even see those flurries between 5 and 8 a.m. in the mountains and foothills stre stretching east to the northern Piedmont. Now it looks like a lot of snow, but keep in mind our temperatures are Above freezing. We're not anticipating a whole lot on the ground. It's a short window that we have to see some of this mix. It doesn't mean you want to be out in the roads necessarily, especially in the mountains as temperatures here are going to hover closer to the low 30s and upper 20s. Very limited accumulations there. One to two inches possible on those western slopes and high elevations for snow. For folks though to the north and east could get some flurries mixing in with cold rains. More of those big wet heavy flurries and I don't think we're going to see a whole lot on the ground. Unfortunately, it might just be more of a wind snow event for folks to the north and east and quickly out of here. But anywhere we get those sleep pockets, we could see some slick conditions. So we want to watch for that in the mountains, especially temperatures closer to the freezing mark and upper elevations could cool more quickly. Slick spots, one to two inches of snowfall there and rain late. But again, this is a fast moving system. They're also transitioning to rain in the mountains, so we don't expect to see a whole lot left on the ground after that. So watching for wet roads across the trine and the foothills temperatures right now expected to reach into the low 40s, but most of the days in the upper 30s, it's going to be pretty cold out there. We are, of course, setting our clocks ahead by one hour Saturday night into Sunday morning, officially at 2 a.m. on Sunday, and it's also the start of the growing season. Our sunrise will be at 736 on Sunday morning and then sun setting at 726. A reminder to please check the smoke detector and carbon monoxide batteries. Through middle of the week, we're colder. And we've got some frost and freeze concerns for Tuesday and Wednesday mornings before we finally warm back up to 69 on next Friday.